Hey, hey, so today we're going to be making this super cute, super seductive, super short, crisscross, A-line skirt. Get ready. <laughs> Things you will need. A 5 millimeter crochet hook. A darning needle for weaving in your ends. Some measuring tape. This is actually optional because you can put your skirt against yourself. But if you're doing this for someone else, use measuring tape scissors and a couple of stitch markers you will be needing your yarn this is a category four weight yarn um this is what is this i don't have the label what is this i do have the label okay so this is red heart super saver in the color black i will put a link down below just in case you want to purchase this yarn and use this exact yarn that I'm using. Um, this one, th I, I actually rolled this from, I think, a couple of skeins. I'm not really sure. But for one skein of this one, it comes in 364 yards of yarn. Just to be on the safe side, I would get about 546 yards of yarn. While I clean up my space, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It's a free way to support my channel. Thank you again so much. Let's get started. So this skirt really just consists of half double crochets, slip stitches, and increases so we're gonna start off with a chain of 14 stitches fourteen. We're going to chain one in turn. If you like to chain two between your half double crochets, that's fine. I only like to chain one. I feel like it's neater looking. Okay, turn your work and do a half double crochet all the way down, skipping that first stitch. I'm just placing my stitch marker in my first stitch here so that I'll know this is the last stitch when I'm coming back up. And we're going through the back loops only now of each row following until we're done with our skirt. In this last stitch that we put our in this last stitch that we put our half double crochet we're just going to go ahead and add one more half double crochet making our first increase chain one turn your work and we're gonna work another increase in this second stitch from the hook Make two slip stitches in that first stitch you can work in your turning stitch if you prefer i just don't like the way it looks so you have your two slip stitches i'm just gonna put my stitch marker here so i'll know and now make a slip stitch in each stitch back down your row and don't make your slip stitches too tight because it'll be hard to work into them. Right here, you're gonna chain one and turn your work. And we're gonna skip that first stitch right there and do half double crochets all the way back down. I know I always 
say the same thing like black is so hard to see but I just couldn't help making this skirt in black In this last stitch, put two half double crochets, making another increase. Chain one, turn your work through that back loop, skip that first chain, put two slip stitches in that first stitch. So we're gonna be working through the back loop only from for the rest of the project. So just make your slip stitches all the way down your row. And this is the pattern until you have um, your skirt at a length that you would like to wear comfortably, you keep increasing. And this is also where your measuring tape will come in. If you're doing this for someone else, you can have how long they would like their skirt and you keep increasing until you reach that length. So I'm gonna do one more row with you. And then we're gonna meet back here once we've increased until we have the length that we would like our skirt to be. Chain one, turn your work and make your half double crochets in the back loop only. And you can see the increases are only happening at the bottom of the skirt. The top is even. In that last stitch, we're gonna work our increase. So we put our half double crochet, we're gonna put one more half double crochet in there. Chain one, turn your work and work two slip stitches in that first stitch. Actually, mine came out a little wonky. Let's try that again. So we have our two, we have our increase and we're gonna do slip stitches all the way down. When we go to the other end, we are not going to make an increase. So this is the way it looks right now. This is the top of your skirt and this is the bottom of your skirt. And you're gonna work your increases on each row at the bottom of your skirt until your skirt reaches the desired length. Once you have your skirt, at that desired length, we will meet back here for the next step. I have reached the length that I would like my skirt to be. I also forgot to mention, keep in mind that we are going to be adding a waistband at the top of our skirt once we finish the actual skirt portion. So this is the length of my skirt without the waistband on it. Now, we're gonna continue to work this skirt all the way around. We're not gonna do any more increases. We're gonna work this just half double crochet and slip stitching and back loop only until your skirt, when you try it on yourself, until it, um, until the panel, <laughs> how do I explain it? Okay. 
Okay, so clearly that Sabrina is struggling. So future Sabrina is stepping in to help her out. We are going to continue to crochet our skirt until once you try it on, it wraps around from one hip, the shortest part on one hip, and the longest part on the other hip. Okay, covering all of your goodies. I hope that makes sense because, listen, okay, so go ahead and continue working your skirt, doing your rib pattern, and we will meet back here. All right, so I am done with my skirt and it wraps around all the way until it wraps around all the way to the opposite hip. So this is the inside of it where we started the shorter length. And then this side wraps all the way around to my, the other side of my hip covering up all the good stuff. Okay, so now we are going to do our we're going to start our waistband. So for the foundation of the waistband, we're going to do a single crochet stitch in every side stitch so just one just a single one single crochet stitch excuse me i cannot talk today one single crochet in every stitch around until we reach the first stitch that we made and we're gonna be sure to stitch these two together so i'll definitely show you how to do that So now I'm at my double layer here and I'm just going to start crocheting them together with my single crochets. And I'm going through both layers. back at the beginning i'm going to go ahead pull that through and i'm gonna pull it long enough so that i can um weave this tail in and cut my yarn okay so we are going to start on the waistband for the waistband i want you to put your skirt on um adjust it to the way that you're going to wear it where you want your slip position for me, I want my slip positioned on my right thigh. So this would be the middle of the skirt for me. This is where we are going to uh, attach our yarn to start making our waistband. And you're gonna attach your yarn through the front loop only. And we're gonna do the front loop of the first few stitches because we are going, once we make, um the waistband around and we're closing it off we're going to use the back loop so that they're overlapping the the waistband is overlapping itself okay so we're gonna go through the front loop only and attach it stitch one two Turn your work, skip that first stitch, make a single crochet right into that second stitch, and then attach your yarn to the next available stitch on your row through the front loop only. Slip stitch. Slip stitch through the second stitch, and then slip stitch through the third stitch. Turn your work. 
through that one through that single stitch that you did you're going to make an increase so you're going to do two single crochets in that same stitch chain one turn your work excuse me and then make two single crochets in that first stitch so you're gonna have two decreases one on the previous row one on this row so now you have one two and three stitches attach it with a slip stitch through the front of the that next available stitch slip stitch through that second available stitch slip stitch through that third available stitch turn your work go into that third stitch with the single crochet remember we're using the back loop only in the last stitch you're going to put a single put two single crochets making your increase chain one at this point you should have four stitches before you begin this row now you're going to put two single crochets in that first stitch and then two three four and at this point you should have five stitches you're going to go ahead add that slip stitch through the front loop only three stitches Turn your work you're gonna go ahead and start at that fifth uh, stitch so one two three four five add your single crochet one, two three Four, five add two in that last stitch so this would be six do your turning chain turn your work you should have six stitches and by the end of this row you'll have seven because you're gonna work your increase so put two single crochets in that first stitch five six seven attach it with the slip stitch and that next available stitch and then slip stitch in the next two stitches after that so that's three all together three turn your work and you're gonna start your single crochet into that seventh stitch so you can count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to put an increase. So it's eight. Chain one. Turn your work. You're gonna add your increase, so it's one. Add another single crochet in that same stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Attach through the front loop only the next available stitch with a slip stitch slip stitch to the next two stitches and at this point you can try on your garment to see if 
the waistband is the length that you would like it to be. If you want it to be shorter, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm sorry, if you want it to be longer or wider, I guess you can go ahead and do that. Or if you like this length, you can leave it like this. So it looks like we've worked this increase over 13 stitches. So, which means that we would need 13 stitches to work decreases. This is just as an example. If you want to continue increasing, your increases will be worked more than the 13 stitches. But how I determined how many stitches I used for my um, increase, I counted back here. This is how you can determine how many stitches you used for your increase, counting these stitches in the back of your work. And if you know where you want your waistband to start to close, you can mark it off with a stitch marker. I say I would want my waistband to, let me see. So I think I would want my waistband to only go in two or three stitches. So I would start my decrease 10 stitches away from my stitch marker and then use the last three or the the first three of my increase okay so i'm gonna mark it off one two three this is where i want my overlap of my waistband okay continue working your band all the way around and we will meet up about 13 stitches or however many stitches you have for your increase we will meet up when you are ready for your decrease also at this point you can start attaching your waistband through both stitches and not just the front stitches anymore because it won't be too sturdy so go ahead and continue making your waistband but attaching it with your slip stitch through both stitches the front and the back we're back around to the front of our skirt to start uh, finishing off our waistband. So at this point, I'm gonna start working decreases. I stopped two stitches away from the end and I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet two together. And then we're gonna chain one, turn, and we're gonna work a decrease, one decrease in the first two stitches. So we're gonna go ahead, chain the uh, single crochet the first two together, and then just make single crochets down the remainder of the row. We're gonna work a decrease in these last two. Chain one, turn your work. Decrease again.
decrease. Work another decrease. We're going to work another decrease. Chain one. Decrease. Uh -oh. In this, at this point, your work is going to start to um, overlap or go behind the first piece of the waistband that we started making. So we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the, here, let me move the stitch marker. Well, for me, so when, once you reach the point where your work meets, where your waistband meets the other end, you're gonna start working in that back loop that we saved for this purpose. So we're gonna do a slip stitch to connect the work, turn it, and start with your single crochets. Two. Then we're gonna go ahead with our decrease. Chain one, turn your work. We're gonna work another decrease. So at this point, I have just two stitches remaining on the row. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the next available stitch through that back loop. Make another slip stitch, turn my work. Then I'm gonna go ahead and, it's kind of difficult to see my next stitch, but I'm gonna do my decrease just I'm left with one stitch chain one turn my work work that single crochet and then attach my work to that front stitch to that front loop excuse me and pull my work so this is how the waistband looks okay hopefully you guys managed to do that if not just take it out rewind the video and watch it again and let's go try on our skirt and we are done with our skirt this skirt is very seductive very flirtatious just go ahead and weave in your ends as you can see I did not but when I before I wear it out after um I'm gonna wash it make sure everything looks good and we have our skirt I hope you enjoyed this video if so please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video.